Okay, so the next uh, deep research product criteria is the expected selling price in pounds. So how do I do that? Uh, let's go back to the Jungle Scout extension plugin and let's have a look at the prices and the revenues. So what I generally like to do is basically look at the highest sellers and see what they are selling. So let's have a look. 1998 1999 1799 but this is a mat it's not a car seat 2699 so generally speaking I'd say the price for this one would be around 20 pounds and that is a note I would make in my spreadsheet uh, and the next criteria is the expected order quantity. So how much products will you need for one month, basically? How much product will you need to order for one month? So let's have a look into that. <coughs> so we've got 227, 311, 351. Uh, looking at the reviews also in the meantime. How many reviews do they have with these sales? Got 840. So for this particular product, if we were to go for this product at all, I would probably order uh, about 250 to 300 items. Let's say 250 and that's what I would put in my spreadsheet. Uh, now, uh, it is important also uh, during the deep research to check uh, the minimum order quantity you will have to go for uh, with the Chinese suppliers, if you decide to go for Chinese suppliers and not locally, uh, and also the price. So basically the next step would be for us to calculate the profits uh, on the given product. So we already said the price would be let's say 1999. Let's see uh, what the Chinese suppliers uh, would charge us for this type of product. Okay, so we are on Alibaba.com website and I've already put the search phrase in. Uh, so let's have a look at similar products. So those are the mats, so we are not interested in that. We've got one uh, car seat here, which is 445 to 490. Keep in mind those prices are in US dollars. Uh, this is one eight dollars around. And also note a minimum order quantity. So this is what you are looking for. 10 pieces is the minimum order quantity. Six ninety to nine eighty. Six to eight pounds. So, uh, six to eight dollars. So, uh, for the purpose of this video, let's just assume it would be this type of product. So we would say eight dollars. I'll just quickly make a note of that. <clears throat> and we said the expected selling price in pounds is 1999. Okay. Uh, so now we also said that we want to bundle this product with another product which will be cat dog cat seatbelt harness. Okay, so let's have a look at these products here. If we can find something similar. So that might be seatbelt safety leads. That might be the product we are looking for. So you can see the prices between 220 and 470. Uh, and the minimum of the quantity is 200 pieces. We've got between 50 and 150, between 1 and 6. So for the purpose of this video, I would assume it's gonna cost us around 150 for this part of product. So we've got around 950 
excluding shipping. As this product is not too heavy, I'd say the shipping by air, DDP shipping by air, would be probably around £1,000. Uh, sorry, £1,000. Uh, so if we were to order, uh, if we were to order uh, 250 units, that would cost us, let's have a look. <coughs> So we we said nine and a half dollars times two fifty plus one thousand dollars for shipping. So that gives us thirty three hundred thirty three hundred dollars for the first order. So let's say, I'm not sure what's the uh, currency conversion rate uh, right now, but let's say it's gonna work out at about uh, 2700 pounds. 2700 pounds plus uh, you will have to pay a fee for trade assurance order, which is charged separately, and that's 2.75. Uh, on the order value, so that would be uh, times zero. That would be about hundred dollars, so sixty pounds. So let's say it's about twenty eight hundred pounds. Twenty eight hundred pounds. So that would be our first order for this product. Uh, for 250 units. Now what we need to do is whether we're gonna make any money on that product. So I normally check uh, the total order value in pounds divided by the number of units you are ordering. So that gives us 11.2 pounds per unit. 11.2 pounds per unit. So now we know the cost of the product landed in the Amazon warehouse, which is 11.2, and we know the selling price, which is 19.99. So what we now need to do is go to FBA revenue calculator, and that will give us uh, the breakdown of the fees and also estimated profits. So we start with, if you Google uh, Fulfillment by Amazon Revenue Calculator, you, you will come up with that website. So first we need to find the ASIN of the product we are uh, going to import into UK market. So let's have a look. Let's go by this example. Uh, so we scroll down to the product information. And this is your ASIN. So we copy that. We paste it here. And it comes up with additional field. So we are interested in two fields here. One is the item price. And this is your selling price. So we said we're going to sell this product for $19.99. And the cost of the product will be 11.20. Then we can click Calculate. <coughs> and also, here we can put the number of units sold per month, because we estimate we're going to sell about 250 units per month. So let's look at the figures now. Uh, so we have the price, then we've got the Amazon fees here. And then we know that the net profit for this product <coughs> will be 3.48 and uh, the net margin for the product will be 17.41%, uh, which is too low. Uh, however, we didn't increase the price, we didn't increase the price based on the additional product we are bundling. So we said that product sells for about four pounds. So theoretically, we could actually sell this product for about, let's say, $22.99. <coughs> and that would bring our net profit to 
0, 3, and the net margin to 26, 23. Now, what does that mean? Uh, I personally generally look at the margins uh, around 35 to 40%, and net profit uh, about five pounds per unit. Why is that? Uh, five pounds per unit is what I want to have in my pocket after all fees and advertising. In order for this to happen, uh, I need to be above that. So because the, obviously the software will cost you, the advertising will cost you, and generally speaking, I estimate about <coughs> 150 to two pounds per additional costs. So in order to be here at five pounds, this figure should be around seven pounds, uh, but it is six. So that means uh, most probably out of this profit here, so if we estimate we're gonna sell 250, at about net profit margin 603 and 26.23%, uh, that gives us 1500 pounds. However, out of this figure, I estimate you're gonna spend about 500 pounds at additional cost. So that's gonna be your cost of advertising, software, and whatever else uh, that is needed. So the net profit that stays in your pocket for this particular product, if we can sell it for $22.99, that would be about £1,000. For me, it's a bit low. Uh, obviously, for you, you need to decide for yourself. But this is how it works out. <clears throat> and obviously, all the figures we've just discussed, I enter and I put into my spreadsheet. Now the next step, uh, the next product research criteria is um, Jungle Scout product tracking. Uh, so what I usually do, and we will discuss this next in the next video, what I usually do is I put 10 to 15 products from the first page of search results for the given phrase. I put them in Jungle Scout product tracker to confirm that uh, the numbers I got from the Jungle Scout plugin in the first step, so here, the monthly sales specifically, are the correct numbers. Because what you will find is, generally speaking, these are not correct. These are not correct and you will find that the real numbers are a bit lower than that. So what you need to do is always confirm the product tracking in Jungle Scout product tracker addition and note results in your spreadsheet. Additionally, what you need to do is to use 999 manual method when you have decided to go ahead with the product. So before you place an order for the product, you need to check that the figures, the monthly sales figures, are uh, okay and you are happy with them and they are how you estimate it uh, using 999 method. If you don't know what 999 method is, uh, please stay tuned to my channel and I will discuss this in the next videos.